Our next guest is best known for his portraits of two cities, Gotham, the home of Batman, and Sin City, a town where tales of sin and crime are spun in film noir style. He directed the film version of Sin City in 2005. Writer, artist, and film director Frank Miller joins us now from our bureau in New York. Nice to have you back on Talk of the Nation. Thank you. Yeah. And Frank, uh, what's the State of the Union? Well, I don't. I really don't find myself worrying so much about the State of the Union as I do about um, the state of the home front. It seems to me quite obvious that our, our country and the entire Western world is up against an existential foe that knows exactly what it wants. And we're behaving like a collapsing empire. Um, mighty cultures never um, are almost never conquered. They, they crumble from within. And frankly, I think that a lot of Americans are acting like spoiled brats because everything isn't working out perfectly every time. Um, and when you say we don't know what we want, uh, is this uh, what, what's the what's the cause of that? Do you think? Well, I think part of it is 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 um, what the way people like I were educated, where we're constantly told that all cultures are equal, and and that um, every belief system is as good as the next. Um, and it, it led to a kind of and and, and generally that America was um, to be known for its flaws rather than its virtues. When you think of what Americans accomplished, building these amazing cities and 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 all the good it's done in the world, um, it's kind of disheartening to hear so much hatred of America, not just from abroad but internally. A lot of people would say that what America has done abroad has led to uh, the, the uh, doubts and and even the hatred of some of its own citizens. Okay, then let's finally talk about the enemy. Um, somebody, for some reason, nobody seems to be talking about who we're up against, uh, and the the sixth century barbarism they actually represent. These people saw people's heads off. They enslave women. They g genetically mutilate their daughters. Um, they 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 do not behave by any cultural norms that are sensible to us. Um, I'm speaking into a microphone that never could have been the product of their culture. And I'm living in a city where 3,000 of my neighbors were killed by uh, thieves of airplanes they never could have built. Hmm. As you look at people around you, though, why do you think that they are so, uh, as you would put it, self-absorbed, uh, even whiny? Well, uh, I'd say it's for the same reason the Athenians and the Romans were. We've got a, a little good right now. Where I would fault President Bush the most was that in the wake of 9-11, he... Um, he motivated our military, but he didn't. He didn't call the nation into a state of war, and he didn't um, explain that this would take a, a communal effort against a common foe. So we've been kind of fighting a war on the side, and sitting off like a bunch of Romans complaining about it. Also, I think that George Bush has an uncanny um, knack of of being somebody people hate. I thought Clinton was, had inspired more hatred than any president I'd ever seen, but I've never seen anything like Bush hatred. It's completely mad. Hmm. And as you talk to people um, in the streets, uh, the people you meet at work, uh, socially, um, what, 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 how do you explain this to them? Mainly in historical terms, mainly um, saying that the, the country that, um, that, that fought Okinawa and Iwo Jima um, is now um, spilling precious blood, but so little of it by comparison. It's, it's, it's almost ridiculous. And the stakes are, are as high as they were then. Mostly I hear people say, well, you know, why did we ta attack Iraq, for instance? <laughs> well, we're taking on an idea. Um, the same way that when we, um, I mean, nobody questions why we, uh, after Pearl Harbor, attacked Nazi Germany. It was because we were taking on a form of global fascism. We're well, doing the same thing now. They did declare war on us, but... Yeah, but what I mean is, so did Iraq. Frank Miller, thanks very much for your time today. We appreciate it. Thank you. Frank Miller, writer, artist, and film director. He's the creative force behind the Batman books The Dark Knight Returns and The Dark Knight Strikes Again. His new film, The 300, opens in March. He joined us from our bureau in New York.